Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to solve another very very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to evaluate expression E. And given equation is x square plus y square plus xy equal to 0. So let's multiply our equation by 4 both sides. Now we will expand LHS. So we will multiply 4 with x square. So it will become 4x square. 4 times y square, 4y square. 4 times xy, 4xy. And RHS will be 0. Now we can split 4y square as we can write 4x square and then we will write y square. And then we will write the remaining 3y square. Overall it is 4y square plus 4xy term. Now from first three terms, we can write this is perfect square of 2x plus y plus 3y square equal to 0. Or I can write 2x plus y whole square equal to minus 3y square which is available here. Let's say this is our equation 1. Again I will use this equation. So I will write 4x square plus 4y square plus 4xy equal to 0. This time we will split 4x square. So I will write x square plus 3x square. RHS is 0. Then we have two terms 4y square and 4xy. Now this time from the first three terms we will be getting perfect square of 2y plus x plus 3x square equal to 0 or I can write 2y plus x whole square this will be equal to minus 3x square let's say this is equation 2 which is available here, the second term numerator. Now we have to put both the values. So let me write our equation for the given expression 2x plus y. This was our expression E. I will write 2x plus y whole square and then we can put power 33. 2 times 33 is 66. Denominator is x power 66 minus 2y plus x whole square as we have equation 2. Then we will put power 33. Denominator we will write y power 66. Now I will write our equation 1 and equation 2. So 2x plus y whole square this was equal to minus 3y square and 2y plus x whole square this value we calculated minus 3x square. So we will put these two values here and here we will get e equal to minus 3y square whole power 33 over x power 66 minus minus 3x square whole power 33 over y power 66. Let me write 
our expression here here it is now we can write our numerators only as minus 3 power 33 and then we can write y square power 33 in denominator x power 66 minus minus 3 power 33 times x square whole power 33 over y power 66. Now we can take minus 3 power 33 common out. So in the bracket we will write y power 66 in the numerator using exponent law over x power 66 minus x power 66 over y power 66 or we can write here minus 3 power 33 in the bracket we can write y over x whole power 66 minus x over y whole power 66. Let me write our expression here. Now we will consider this bracket equal to alpha and this bracket we will call beta. So our required expression will be minus 3 power 33 times alpha power 66 minus beta power 66. Now I will calculate alpha times beta and alpha plus beta. Let's calculate. Alpha is y over x. Beta is x over y. So I will get 1. Alpha plus beta is y over x plus x over y. I will take LCM y square plus x square over xy. Now as per given equation x square plus y square. This is equal to minus xy. We can write. Let's use this result. So I can write this will be equal to minus xy. Denominator is xy. So we will get alpha plus beta negative 1. Let me write here alpha beta is 1, alpha plus beta is negative 1. Now if we will consider one quadratic equation whose roots are alpha and beta then this is product of roots, this is sum of roots. We can write quadratic equation in variable t roots are alpha and beta so we can write t square minus sum of roots which is minus 1 times variable t plus product of roots which is 1 equal to 0 or i can write t square plus t plus 1 equal to 0 now from this equation i can see t cannot be equal to 1 so I can multiply both sides by t minus 1. Let's multiply t square plus t plus 1 equal to 0. Or I can write t cube minus 1 cube equal to 0. Or I can write t cube will be equal to 1. Or I can write alpha cube will be 1 beta cube will be 1. So we have one very important result. Now we have to calculate our required expression E. If I will write here, then this was minus 3 raised to the power 33 
in the bracket alpha power 66 minus beta power 66. Now alpha cube is 1, beta cube is also 1. So I can write here this will be equal to minus 3 with power 33. Here I will write alpha cube whole power 22 minus beta cube whole power 22. Now I will write minus 3 whole power is 33 in the bracket 1 power 22 minus 1 power 22. So we will get minus 3 raised to the power 33 in the bracket 1 minus 1 which will give us final answer 0. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe our channel. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.